New video appears to show Russia's flagship cruiser, the 43-year-old Moskva or Moscow, shortly before she sank in the Black Sea on April the 14th. But what actually happened to the aged Moskva? This image offers clues. In clear distress and listing heavily port side, the Moskva appears to be burning internally, with smoke billowing from portholes. There are signs of hull damage. Life rafts are missing. The helicopter doors are open while a rescue ship alongside sprays water jets. Ukraine claims it fired land-based Neptune missiles that struck the cruiser off the coast of Odessa. Russia says only that there was a fire on board and that she sank in choppy waters while under tow back to port. Yet the waters here are calm and the Moskva is not under tow. And perhaps most importantly, uh, the fire appears to have broken up just ahead of its air defense missiles and just behind its surface-to-surface -surface missiles. So if at some point after the imagery was taken, uh, either of those uh, systems ignited, that would have likely caused a much uh, larger explosion that would have made the ship effectively unsalvageable. So it's undoubtedly a ship in distress and very much consistent with the ship uh, that has been subject to a successful cruise missile strike. Also uncertain is the fate of the Moskva's crew, as many as 500 strong. On Saturday, Russian Defence Ministry pictures showed the Commander-in-Chief of the Navy meeting the ship's crew in the Crimean port of Sevastopol. Only around 100 men are present. Russia has not confirmed any casualties, but there are reports of social media posts by relatives announcing the death of loved ones on board, posts that were later deleted. In the opening salvos of Russia's invasion, the Moskva played a major part. It confronted border guards on Snake Island in Ukrainian waters and ordered them to surrender. The incident and their colorful response became an emblem of Ukrainian resistance. The sunken Moskva, almost two months later, is now emblematic of something else. Not just one of the most significant losses in recent naval history, but a sign to many as well that Ukraine's resistance is working. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera.